oil and gas companies, they have 50 and 100 year plans. And they've already, they've already figured out where they're going and how, what they're going to do when, uh, when the oil sands runs out. But we haven't as a society. And yet, as an Albertan, that's the discussion I want us to engage in right now. To say, so what does a 50 year horizon of decline and transition look like? How are we going to move off of fossil fuels? And at the same time, I think it's up to us as Albertans because there's such an ingrained... And on the one hand, let's, let's put it this way. There's a global critique of what we're doing. And I think as Albertans, some of us feel compelled by that to get more active. Also, we feel somewhat ashamed and embarrassed by it. Uh, others just see it as, get out of my backyard, it's our own business. But um, I don't think it's going to change unless we as Albertans ask for it we have to ask for it and and right now the 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 tenor of politics is just to deflect that discussion about alternatives and transitions and and all aspects of it not just you know what the future energy will look like but what the future of our urban structures will look like what the future of transportation might look like what relocalization might look like if, if we're talking about a decline in energy, what will our communities begin to look like? How will our lives change? Uh, how will we move, move around? Will we move less? Will we have to focus more on uh, living to more closely together, less sprawl, all these kinds of things. These are the big, they're not even new ideas. <laughs> they're ideas that everyone's talking about except us in this greater politics of Alberta. 